So I'm doing my walk uh, late in the afternoon. That's because this morning, Christine and I, we uh, jumped on the motorcycle and we went up to St. Quasi on a little kind of exploratory adventure trip. Haven't been there in absolutely years. And to be honest with you, St. Quasi has a bit of a shadow me. I'm a little, <laughs> a little scared. And you have to watch the rest of the vlog to find out why. But uh, I had my Osmo Action on the front of the bike. A little nervous because it was a suction pad on the windscreen and hope the thing would work all way. Check the monkeys. Ah, you see that? They're a massive bike behind me. <laughs> hey, living in Africa. I love it, man. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the vlog and I'll catch up with you. So, um, sorry about all the ambient noise. I can't silence the sea, but here we are at Sinkwazi. And I mean, the thing about St. Quasi that we haven't been here for years, Christy and I were kind of surprised when we were riding in here this morning because um, we had realized that it was kind of so far from the highway to the sea, but it's not really far, but it's relative. You're kind of used to him slowly. And, um, <laughs> and this place, I've always been scared of this place. I'm telling you, I don't know why. There's a lagoon just around the corner, which hopefully I, I can get the, the drone to. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drone it, drone the, the, the drone. We're going to drone the drone <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's going to be a lesson. So why don't you kind of see if I can get going with this drone. Right. So what the heck's going on there? So I'm calibrating the, uh, the GPS. Then it says rotate. Oh no, it looks like a pre... It's a pre-drone dance. Okay. We'll start. So we're up and running. So, I mean, beautiful St. Quasi. Um, the locals are sort of coming down now, going for a swim, some guys on the rocks there, looking for mussels, I guess. And I suppose for me, as I think, yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean, today, you know, I mean, the surf's quite big and it looks so, kind of um, quite passive, really. But I remember the one time I was here, it was much lower tide and these rocks were completely exposed. The river was kind of flowing and then there were lots of people and there were guys surfing and it was quite a hard paddle out. And, and I just think this is sharky. I mean, we, 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 we're almost in Zululand. This is shark territory. And if, you, uh, if you're a surfer, you're scared, <laughs> you're scared of the sharks. So, I mean, fear is a very real part of our lives, you know. Right now, we, I can see I've got my mask here and the fear of, of getting the, the virus and Christine said we've got to get our names down and make sure that we um, <laughs> that we get get the vaccine when it comes available and I just think of the Bible it says perfect love costs out fear you know and I think in many ways kind of having relationally connected to people Christine beyond the camera here today People in the street, you know, those are the things that help us to overcome our fears. Uh, you know, so it's been a really good trip here. It is hot as hell here today in Zikwazi. The humidity is it's melting us. So we're going to go off now and see if we can find some some breakfast. We really don't want to have breakfast at the uh, Ultra City. Okay, all right, Christine, cut, baby. So we had a good time flying the drone, and after we flew the drone. We decided that we went for coffee, we didn't have to go to the, the, the Ultra City, but we found our way to the St. Quasi Tea Room and uh, really homely and that and what do you think? I just wondering how my hair looks. <laughs> Helmet head, you know? Yeah. Now I know some of you coffee snobs are not Illy fans, but the barista there knows what he's doing. So the truth of the matter is, oh, I'm just suddenly I walk right into the sun here. Um, the truth of the matter is, uh, if I had to give a, a grading for that coffee out of 10, I would give it a clear 7.5. And then of course we got on the bike and had a safe trip home. So as I wrap up this vlog today, 
this verse that says love love casts out all fear as i was riding my bike on the way back I, I really began to think about that verse and what it means you know and of course it's the love of god but how do we know and experience the love of god we experience it through people through people who mean something to our lives people who can encourage us as we love one another we find encouragement and hope and, and for me, that's the issue here. And I hope that as you process your fears and the anxieties that you may have, that you're the people in your life that love and care for you. And that you will find the way to overcome your fear. Will I surf at Sinkwazi? <laughs> I don't know. Sinkwazi still kind of freaks me out. But I'm definitely going back to have coffee there one day. So, uh, hello. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you take away, other than a visit to Sinkwazi and my fear of the place, not the place, but the surf, is that you would uh, go visit that, that, that little tea room and have some decent coffee in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, yeah, God bless you. Remember love. Love somebody, find love, find courage, find hope. God bless. So we're getting ready for our um, adventure in Czech. Christine's coming with, but She's, what are you doing? Tending my garden. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't live with an ADD wife. You know I what I mean? I can't stand around doing nothing. So while I'm kind of getting the, this camera stuff ready, Christine has to go and see something. Um, anyway.